Hey, it's Brent from the White Lab Workshop. Last week, I showed you how I built this mallet from scrap wood. This week, I'll show you how I burned my logo into the head by hand and apply the finish. Let's get to it. I started by cutting out my logo with vinyl using my wife's Cricut Maker, then sticking it onto the mallet head. Then I traced around it with a pencil. This was my first indication that the oak grain would spice things up. I couldn't get a very clean trace because the grain made the pencil tip have a mind of its own. After I was reasonably sure that my tracing was dark enough to see, I used a utility knife to carefully peel up the vinyl. I pulled out my wood burner with the finest tip I have, heated it up, and started tracing the lab outline. Then I moved on to the saw outline. I hadn't anticipated how awkward it would be to do this with my wood burner. Normally I hold pens and pencils much closer to the tip than the burner would let me, since I wanted to keep the burning focused on the wood and not my fingers. Plus, the wood grain made the burner tip have a mind of its own. So I had to lower my expectations a little, knowing that I wasn't going to get the perfect logo done by hand on this day. After tracing the outline, I tried using the fine tip to fill things in a little bit before switching to the wider flat tip, but I lost patience with this and switched about halfway through. After giving enough time for the burner to cool down, I used the leather work gloves to switch the tips and went to work again. The wider tip was flat and made for much smoother burns. It also came to a point so I could use it to try to clean up some of the points in the saw blade where the fine tip struggled with the grain. Here, you can see what my final results were with the wood burner. The wood grain made it tough to get clean edges, and it also made it tough to get even coloring. But that kind of gives it a handmade charm. In this case, the handmade charm was similar to a finger painting from an elementary school kid, which is actually pretty good by my usual standards of freehand artwork. Plus, it looks pretty decent from a distance. For the finish, I used tongue oil. Let's sit back and enjoy some of the grain popping goodness.
According to the directions on the container, the tongue oil is supposed to stay wet for about 15 minutes. So I kept applying it and rubbing it around to keep filling in the areas where the oil was soaking in until it got nice and saturated. And here we're showcasing the cinematography of our 8 year old. Overall, I'm really happy with this mallet. The logo isn't perfect, but it works. The finish is great and the wood grain looks really nice. One thing worth pointing out is something that was pointed out to me on Reddit. The handle has a lot of run out, meaning that the grain runs out of the side. This is the perfect place for a split if I were to start beating on things with it. So I think I'll use this as a display piece rather than a functional piece. I guess that means I'll have to make another mallet in the future. If you like this video, consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel. We've got a lot more woodworking projects queued up and we'd love to share them with you. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.